everyone, welcome back to Seema's Academy. In today's video, we are going to learn about what is the production possibility set and production possibility frontier. Well, I know the word sounds scary, but I am pretty sure by the end of this video, you will memorize the concept as simple as a KG rhyme. So make sure that you watch the video till the end. So to begin with, we know that the resources an economy has is limited in nature. We do have very scarce resources, but the needs that we have to fulfill with the help of these resources are unlimited. If you have watched my previous video which was on central problems of an economy, you must have related my sentence with the same topic. But if you haven't watched the video, I'll link it in the description box. Please do check the video before we start with this one. Straightly getting into the topic, production possibility set. Now if you look at the term production possibility, there are two words, production and possibility. Production means to manufacture or to create something. Possibility in the sense the options or the chances available to you. Starting with a very basic example. Let us assume that you have 10 rupees in your hand. And you can either buy a 5 rupees lace or 5 rupees kurkure. Both of them are your favorite. You have three possible options with you. First one being... Invest your entire money on lace. That is, give 10 rupees to the shopkeeper and buy a packet full of lace. Or the second option being, give 10 rupees to the shopkeeper and buy a packet full of kurkure. The third option available to you is, buy a 5 rupees lace and a 5 rupees kurkure. Now what did I say? I told you how you can consume this 10 rupees and what are the three possibilities you have. Now relating the same basic example to the today's concept production possibility said. The example what I gave was related to consumption but what we are going to study is production that is the only difference and the example what I gave included of lace and kurkure but includes cotton and cob. To tell you what exactly is a production possibility set, it is a collection of all possible combination of goods and services that can be produced with the help of given amount of resources and a given state of technological knowledge. To make it more simple, let me take you to the whiteboard. Now connecting production possibility set to the example that I gave in the beginning of the video, we have replaced lace and kurkure by corn and cotton. The second thing I told you that we are learning production possibility set in terms of production, not in terms of consumption. So it will be production of corn and production of cotton. Now, when the resources are completely utilized, the table says that one can produce maximum 10 units of cotton or Okay, I am saying you 10 units of cotton or 4 units of corn. It is not 10 units of cotton and 4 units of corn. It is either 10 units of cotton maximum or 4 units of corn. This is the same case. You can invest entire 10 rupees on your lace entire or entire 10 rupees on kurkure. Then the one more possibility that was available to you was 5 rupees and on kurkure and 5 rupees on lace. That 5 rupees and on kurkure and 5 rupees and lace are these three possibilities that you see in between. Okay. So the first possibility says that if you invest all your resources. Now when I say the term resources, it is nothing but your land, labor, capital, organization. Here it is production. That is why we consider land and labor. Okay. So when these resources are being completely utilized, it is said that maximum you can produce 10 units of cotton, which means no units of corn. Because the resources are being completely invested in cotton. Or another possibility is maximum you can produce 4 units of corn, 
and no units of cotton. These are the possibilities that lie in between that is B, C and D. If you are going to get 1 unit of corn, you would get 9 units of cotton. If you increase your 2 units of production, then you have to give up something on cotton. If again you increase on cotton, again you will have to give up some more on cotton. Which means all of these possibilities comes with the cost. And this called as opportunity cost. The concept I will be dealing with in detail in the next video. For now you understand that when you give up something in return for another thing, the cost that comes along with it is called as opportunity cost. Then what is the production possibility frontier? The term frontier itself means a border line or making a separation between the two or making a partition. So a production possibility frontier gives us that combination of corn and cotton that can be produced when the resources of an economy are fully utilized. Now let us see how a production possibility frontier looks like. Now when you plot the schedule on a graph, you get this graph. The possibilities that is available at the possibility A you can produce a maximum 10 units of cotton. Possibility E you can produce maximum of 4 units of cotton. The remaining possibilities being B, C and D are also plotted. It is worth noting that Whatever possibilities we get below this frontier, in the sense below this border or below this curve, represents that resources are underutilized or they are utilized in a wasteful manner. So this is all about the production possibility frontier. Well, I hope the concept is clear to you by now. Thank you so much for watching the video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and also press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post new videos on the concepts of commerce. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye. Namaste.